Uh, Ross, obviously uh, an incredible performance for you tonight. You had a, a lot of inconsistent you know, performances as of late. What was the key tonight? Where do you rate this, honestly, all time in terms of your performances? Um, I think this was my most mature performance. Um, listen to my coaches. Um, we knew Paul's a tough guy. He's got the ability to put guys away. Um, we knew he had that danger factor about him. So just staying focused, staying on the game plan, staying mature and uh, listening to my coaches. Um, I was pleased with my performance and the way I handled it. Um, I didn't get too crazy, didn't get too excited looking for the killer blow all the time. I, I made a miss, I made a pay, I counted them, and uh, I stuck with the game plan. I know you want to build some momentum off this win, but it sounds like you've got a, a vacation coming up first. So what's, I guess, what's the immediate plan, and then, and then what do you think moving forward? Immediate plan, yeah, is just rest up. Um, this is my third fight this year, but I, I want to keep fighting. Um, Whenever the UFC want to put us back in, I'm ready to go. Um, I love fighting. I love competing for the UFC. Um, I want to get better. And anyone that they put in front of us, I'm ready to go. Um, I just want to improve my career, improve on my opponents, and, and get to the top, man. Ross, you said that you felt this was your most mature performance. Was that patience and ability the result of a real conscious decision uh, in your training camps? And if so, was, was it hard to do, given that you're such an, uh, an aggressive fighter? Was it tough to say, I'm, I'm going to be tactical and patient at, at points? Yeah, it was so hard to hold back. My coaches was telling us to, to settle, to settle, to settle all the time. And I was just biting down on my gum shield, just saying, like, fuck, just let's go. Let's, let's let go. But uh, I, he I kept my head together. Um, I stayed focused. I, I was thinking a lot more. Um, I wasn't just, let's have it, you know. I am. Um, I know Paul can finish guys, finish opponents, and uh, I had to be aware of that. I didn't want to just go in there all crazy and, and get caught, you know? It's happened before in the past, and uh, you know, that's probably some of the reasons why I've gone win, lost, win, lost, win, lost, you know? I, I get a little bit reckless at times. I get a little bit too eager to, to knock someone out, and uh, that's probably my own downfall. So it was definitely hard to stay patient, stay relaxed, but... It, it got the win, you know, it got the job done, and uh, we, we had a good fight. Ross, you uh, paid Paul Felder a, a, an interesting compliment at the end of the fight because you said you could see the two of you actually fighting a trilogy, which, first of all, would indicate that you could see yourself fighting another close fight, possibly losing a second one, if you follow the logic, and then meeting in, in the third. I mean, I don't think I've ever heard a fighter say something like that. So my question is, uh, you know, what do you see in the matchup with him that tells you that you could be uh, running into him a second time? Maybe that one might not even go your way, but it's going to be close, and then you may encounter each other a third time. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's clash of styles, you know. He's got... He's got power, he's got everything to do to take opponents out, you know. Um, I think if we put in a, an eight-week training camp, um, things could have been called a little bit different. Um, I think I would have been a little bit sharper, um, a little bit more willing to exchange a little bit more. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's just clash of styles and clash of opponents. Um, I could just say it. I know in his face after the fight, you know, it was a close fight, and I, I knew that he was frustrated with himself, you know. So it was, a, it was a compliment to Paul saying that, you know, that was a good fight, and, and he and he took it to the end. You know, I was uh, I was impressed with how much he pressed and, and the shots that he was taking um, to keep come on coming back. So I'm willing to to for him to take another fight, win a fight, and then we'll we'll get back after it and then see what happens again.